then of the um, of of knowledge. When you learn what you learn and it becomes just memorized information, your pineal gland, um, the pituitary gland, they all begin, they are all reacting to that because their job is to feel life, is to feel fluid energy moving through. And when they don't feel that, when they feel memorized information, a library of information, and you're just picking up more information, but it's memorized. You're, you have to become the information. That's right. You have to be the information. You, exactly. Because you are technically a, your transmitter and your, and your receiver, but technically what you are is information. That's really what you are. You are information from beginning to end, gathering data for creation. Uploading, downloading, you're like, okay, this is what I understand. Oh boy, it, you know, broke my heart, don't like it. Upload. <laughs> you know, and all of these things are the experience, the experiments, and you go and you, and they upload, and, and the bigger picture creation is like, okay, got this, got this, got this. And at some point, you're, you're done. At some point, you're like, okay, got to move to something else now. Got to move to something else. But we don't do that. We just stay in it. And some of us will find a way to just repeat more of the same thing over and over. How then can your body live through that? Why would your body, stay, why would your body then go, okay, we're, we're in and we're just going to flow. We're just going to flow with time. It can't. Because it's your brain that's sending the message to all of your cells and your, your, the rest of your entire body. It's your brain that's doing that. And your brain is taking the information from where? From your thoughts, the intent. And that's where the thoughts come from. From your intent, from your perception. And what does it do? It enters through the head into the, the, um, the brain, into the, through the uh, ventricles of the brain down into the spinal fluid and right into the rest of the body. And so your spinal fluid bathes the entire body, bathes all your cells. So all those thoughts, they're bathing your cells. So that's really what's going on. And your brain is deciding as to the length of time that the body is kept alive based on your understanding and the brain says, well, it looks like we're done. That's really what happens. It, it, it says it looks like we're done here. <laughs> There's really not much else coming in that's new, and you're not really connecting outside of this time. You are caught in the finite matrix. And the thing is, to move beyond that, you can interact with the finite matrix, but you're not the, you don't become the finite matrix anymore. You're not that. You are an agent and you're operating here, there, wherever you want to operate. That's what it's about. Not just operating here because this reality is for that particular experience to, to come in, to do what you do, to, to be controlled, to do this, to be that, da, 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 all the stuff that you've gone through. And then if, this, if the system is lucky, you will go right back on that reincarnation wheel and you will come right back in here again. You will keep coming back. You just keep recycling here. And so you have memories and you have all of these feelings of, of things that you, um, people, you know, that you feel that you've met before, all, all of those experiences. But you just keep coming back in for that. So it's a matter of being able to, to, to really wake up to that understanding and understand more about time, the concept of time, how time is regulated. And for all the people that weren't here last week, um, I had mentioned that I was walking on the beach one day and uh, the word time appeared before me and, and I saw a hyphen in between and it said T-I hyphen M-E, which means to tie me, to restrict me. It's, it's, it's restriction. But then when you reverse the word, it spells emit. Emit means to flow. Now, in physics, it is understood that 
cre you, creation or physicality exists as both a, a wave, waves like, like this, and a particle. So it's wave and particle. So that means it goes into waveform and then it becomes a particle. Well, that's time. That, that's time. That's what, how time is supposed to operate. You seize the moment, which is what this is. This is but a moment. It just seems like forever. We're really only living a moment. So you seize that and you freeze it. But we've frozen it and we're like, OK, we're, we're just going to stay right here. We've frozen this. This is good. We're comfortable with it. This is what we know. We've been doing this for a while. That's it. That's all there is. No. So now, so now what I was speaking to you about before with the, um, with, with the fluidity, it's being able to understand that. And then your creations are always supposed to, you experience them, and then you, they flow. You, you, they flow into something else. They become something else. But you have to allow your creation to become something else instead of freezing it like that. Because when you freeze it like that, that's what happens. You, the, the, right, the decay process, all of that starts, it starts to